Well, from what we're used to seeing, I thought his, his command was a little bit off, but he, he battled. I mean, he kept us right there in the game. You know, he, uh, a couple home runs got us. But no, he, he pitched good enough to win. Um, you know, those guys aren't going to be pinpoint perfect every time they go out there, but he really battled, got some big strikeouts, but, you know, the long ball got him a couple. Gib, yeah, offensively, uh, do you see opponents kind of pitching you guys similarly over the over the first week? Is it a lot of kind of fastball slider to your to your right-handed hitters, and, and is there an adjustment? Well, I mean that's I mean that's the guys we've been facing. That's that's pretty much what they feature. But you know we're not hitting right now. But we're going to hit. Uh, there's no no question in my mind. So you know we'll, we'll, we'll wash this one off. Come back and hopefully get that going. In, you know tomorrow because it's just a matter of time. There's I mean no doubt in my mind. Hey, John, yeah. uh, do you think to, to a certain extent that spring training, you had some guys injured, you had some, Jose was away at the WBC, that just the lineup wasn't quite in sync even during spring training, and maybe the last week has been a result of that? No, John, to be honest, I, I don't, you know, we're not looking for, you know, what, what's going on from, from that angle. Uh, I mean, that's part of it. Every, everybody goes through that. You know, there's, there's times we start off slow as individuals, even, even as a team, but... Um, I said earlier today, it's better to be a finisher than a starter, and we're pretty good at that. So we'll get it going, and then we'll, uh, you know, we, we can we can reel off some some wins in a row. Because I mean, we, we we've been known to do that. So, but the guys, like I said, the guys are going to hit. There's no doubt. John, it's still early, but if you, it is early. But if you, when you watch Morales, do you have like a new appreciation of what he can do, or did you always know that he's, you know, so he's so good with a bat? Yeah, Buff. Well, you know, I always admired the guy. You know, when he was on the other team, you know, you could you could tell he was a good hitter, not just a slugger, a good hitter. But you, when you watch him every day, you know, you you like it even more. Um, and he's probably one of the most uh, happy guys you'll ever come across. You know, I mean, every, every day. You know, he's he's one of the first guys here. He's got a smile on his face. Really appreciates what he's what he has and what he's doing. And and uh, I guarantee that's a big part of. His success, you know, he, he he loves playing baseball. So, yeah, I think he's going to have a monster year for us. I really do. Um, you know, you look back at you know the the first week of the season. I mean, shoot, he I mean he was barreling just about everything, and, and a lot of tough luck, a lot of atom balls. I mean, he could, uh, you know, he he could have a lot more than he's got right now, or to show for it anyway. So, yeah, I think it's a big big addition for us. All right, thank you, Gib. Oh, sorry. Gib, the way you ran your bullpen today, you kind of used your A relievers uh, in a game in which you were down. Was that, a, were you expecting a comeback there, or did you want to make sure you didn't kind of let them tack on another run or two? Yeah, we were expecting to come back, and, I th you know, we, we, we needed this game. I wanted this game. Uh, and everybody were coming off the off day. Everybody was pretty well rested. A couple of them needed an inning anyway. So, yeah, we approached it that way as if it was at least a tie game. And the sooner I thought it looked good, so.